Morning guys, how's it going? So we're heading up to the Peak District today to do a little bit of scrambling in a place called Crowd and Clough, which I think is on Kinder Scout. I've never really been up the peaks before. So we're gonna give it a try, basically because today it's the least wet part of England. We started driving out this morning and it's really, really wet. So we might actually have to abandon it. I'm not sure at the moment. So we've just stopped off and we're just having a cup of tea and a sausage barn basically. So see how it goes later on. So we just arrived at the start point, got a little bit lost to be honest. So the sun's starting to break through now, so I think what we're going to do, we're just going to have a cup of tea basically and just wait around, maybe sit around for about half an hour, 40 minutes, have a little breather. I've never been down here, it's called Upper Barber Booth, really, really nice. Um, I was thinking about stopping over tonight, but I've just seen this sign here. So. I don't know whether that's an official sign or not. Sometimes what you find is local residents put these signs up to stop people parking. To be honest, it's a car park, so it's not really a great place for stopping anyway. So I did have a look at the map last night and I found a couple of interesting spots which might be good for a stopover in the car. So we'll check one of those out later and we'll see how we go. Do you want to have a cup of tea or something like that? Um, if you want, yeah. Yeah, just let this fog go off a little bit. So you can see where uh, we're prepped up for stopping over tonight we've got the toilet with us um, a few bits and pieces bottle of buffalo trace uh, i've got some cans of beer as well and we've got the boot jump in here so this converts that into a bed brought the curtains with me today as well so so hopefully we can get a nice peaceful stopover point tonight but we'll see how we go today So I'm going to use the GPS today because basically um, I've only got a vague idea of where I'm going so I've got quite a few routes I've climbed in the past there. So I think that's the one crowding the map and there we are. Oh, so that's good. So we've actually hit the start of the route already. We're basically heading up to Upper Booth Campsite which is the start of the walk. I don't normally use this GPS to be honest because I don't like to rely on these things but sometimes if you're on an unfamiliar route they are quite handy just to kind of start you off. So these GPS things they're great to kind of get you where you're going and they're great for emergencies but they're not really good to rely on because what always happens is the batteries tend to fail in the worst possible situation so it's always when you're lost and you pull them out and the batteries have gone or you forgot to charge them and stuff like that so you do need to know where you're going to be honest but these are great for an emergency and also if you're unfamiliar with the route these are great to get you going that's all i really use that for and it looks like the weather's cleaning up anyway what do you think yeah it's looking well better you can see yeah. blue sky now so it started off a really wet day um but you can see over there the clouds starting to clear now so it's looking really really good i'm hoping by the time we get to the bottom of this crowd and clough that that cloud is completely cleared and we can kind of see where we're going if not we'll just kind of wing it i've got a guide book with me as well so shouldn't have any difficulties it's getting too hot isn't it it's really really warm I think we've took yeah i think we've got to the phone button we've, we've gone back on ourselves yeah one i think of these we've taken a wrong turn here somewhere 
gone that way, shouldn't we? Yeah, so I've been mountaineering for about 25 years and I've taken a wrong turn today. So it just shows you, it happens to everybody. So we're just consulting the guidebook to find out where we've gone wrong and hopefully we can backtrack on ourselves. This is the thing about blindly following GPS as well. What you tend to do is plug a route in or someone will put a route on the internet and what will happen is you can download it. And I tend to use them as a guide, but what you find a lot of the time is a lot of people get lost and they track it on the GPS. So you end up getting lost and following their route. And I think that's what we've done to be honest. So I should have known better really. So yeah. Yeah, I'll slap myself when I get it. Just across a bridge and on the right, across a stile to follow a path that I'm being across a stile. Right, okay, so we're taking a wrong turn yeah. somewhere. Yeah, okay. Somewhere back there at the farm, we've missed a footpath. So we'll just go back and find it, not a problem. It's only cost us like 15 minutes, so it happens. Head farm. back to the farm and yeah, the yeah, campsite, yeah. and then I think there must be a left there that we need to make instead of the right. Yeah, let's go then. Let's shoot back. That way there. Right, I think we're back on track now. Um, we should have read the guidebook really, because the guidebook mentions crossing a bridge and we just didn't see a bridge. So we merrily walked on for about half an hour and then suddenly realized that we hadn't missed a bridge. So stupid, but there you go. We think we know where we're going, we think. So, check again uh, in about 100 meters or so. Yeah, we'll check again in about an hour and we have to come back, we have to come back. There's about five people behind us and when we turn back, they turn back as well. So I don't know whether they overheard what we were saying, but that's never a good idea following other walkers either because you don't know where they're going. Someone's just wild camping over there. I don't know whether you can see that tent. That's a fantastic spot to be honest. They've got themselves some really flat ground next to the river. Looks fantastic to be honest. I might actually steal that spot at some point in the future. Try with you. Yep. Yeah. What have we got to eat from? Top of canal. Top of little mm. snack. Nice. Nice little spot here, isn't it? I think we're about a kilometre or two away from the bottom of the cloth now, so I'm just gonna take a little breather, have a bar of chocolate, a cup of tea, and then we'll carry on and these things are fantastic for keeping your backside warm and bright, brilliant. And they weigh virtually nothing. Topic. You don't really see these anymore on the shops, but I love them. Absolutely fantastic. Great mountaineer and chocolate. Better than Snickers because the hazelnuts. Have we got any Snickers with us? Yeah. Do we do a do we do a side by side comparison? I might do a I might do a side by side comparison of Topic versus Snickers later, we'll see. I think topical win personally, but I don't know what you think. decent scramble on this to be fair. Just watch it, it's wet. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit slippy but it's yeah, plenty of handholds, pretty decent. Fantastic this, really really interesting. I think that's our next section there. Walk, walk. I think that's actually the start point up there to go. Do you think this is our start point? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. That looks awfully wet and mossy though. Which this right on side? Yeah. There's yeah. a bit of a ribble here though that you can't we can probably get up, which looks quite a... Yeah. Is that it's dry? Wet, that looks fairly looks dry, dry on the left. Yeah, we can so, across the right then, yeah I mean that's, that's right. So, well, to be honest, 
if this was if it, it had been raining heavily, that would be uh, that would be soft and wet. I think we can get up that to be honest. I don't don't think that's a major problem. Yeah. We're just debating which way to go up this. So the guidebook says go to the left because it's not been raining for a while. The right hand side, it's it's still obviously wet, but it's not got a river coming down. So we could easily do that. I think fairly straightforward. Obviously these things are dangerous, so you know don't try this at home or that type of crap. But um, yeah, looks fantastic. Yeah, I think we should take that left line. It's a lot drier. We can get up the right line. I don't I don't see a problem with that right line there, but that left line looks a lot drier to me. Ironically, the left looks harder than the right, if that makes sense. Yeah. That, that's nice and blocky on the right hand side. The left hand side just looks fairly sheer, but it's probably only a grade one stroke two scramble though, so it's nothing major. What do you think? Undesired, I think I may be left. Yeah, I, I think we'll just, I think we'll go left and see. I think we'll just go left and see how we go. Looks good. So I'll, so I'll put the camera away at this point. I'll put the camera away at this point and we'll get over this and we'll see what's next. So I've just completed the first section there. The heart rate always goes up when you're doing these things, especially the first time you're doing because you don't quite know what to expect. So I just came up where the stream normally comes down and it's quite dry. A um, few nice handholds there. Loads of good footholds, really, really good. Just got to really think about it, take your time, but quite enjoyed that. Scared me a little bit, which is always good. Makes you feel, makes you feel alive. I think my way was worse than yours. I think it was, yeah. I think, I think the right, I think the actual left hand side looked worse. I think the problem you got is if it's raining here, this is going to be just a torrent basically. So there's no way you could come up where I've just come. Should we head to the next section? Yeah. up there there's a nice big crack of light there what do you think go up there yeah see if we don't slip down too much well look, we've got two options here we can go I don't even know where we can go there we can go up there well you can just uh yeah. let's have a look let's have a quick look in right easily jam yourself up the rock there push yourself over that looks straightforward enough Small there, fits through that gap really, isn't it? Yeah, we've entered, we've entered some kind of little cavern. Cave system. We've, little cave system? Yeah, we've entered some kind of little cavern or cave system, which is at the top of the, which is at the top of the cliff. I don't think this is in the guidebooks to be honest, but it, it's quite a short scramble that, and it's it's over too quickly. So what we're thinking of doing is we're just trying to, we're just having a look inside these caves or these kind of cave structures to see if we can get up there. That looks fairly straightforward, probably a grade one throw two scramble. And there's another one round here, um, which also looks fairly straightforward. The rock's pretty slippy. How slippy is that rock? We'll get a handle on it. Yeah. Well, should we, should we venture in and have a look? I don't mind going first. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, just watch the glass. Open. Glass? Yeah. No, what do you mean glass? Some feel through a bottle there. Yeah, there's just yeah. broken glass down there. Broken glass, maybe. Maybe it's a trap. Yeah, it's the rocks are really wet in here, but it looks like a really interesting kind of finish. So we're going to probably head in. Well, Alex has just gone in just to check it out. So if it's a little bit too wet, we'll turn around and we'll just head back to the main pathway. And so the main pathway is just behind us there. Don't know whether you can see that. There's some hikers on it at the moment who are looking on a map and they appear to be lost. So I'm guessing that goes up to the top of Kinder Scout. Um, like I say, I've never been in this area before, so. It's all new to me. How's it looking? Don't quite know how you pull yourself up, but if you want to go and have a look. Do you want me to have a look? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you take that then. I'm gonna go and investigate. You'll see what I mean when I get in there. You just like yeah, the foot holds your handles as well, I think. This one. That block that's in the middle of your foot holds your handles. Yeah. Uh, I think the main problem with this is it's it's so slippery. It's not people really gonna get it. I think I've read about this. You meant to just like sort of yeah. lock your hands either side when it's not slippy. Yeah. There's a bit of a foothold here. Let me just pull up me. Oh, 
Mis me niis on saaks? Ja, that's not very common anywhere, that's not Right, do you want to pass me those packs up? Yeah. I'm covered in crap. I'm covered in muck and everything. Put that pack in. Thank you. Do you want me to take you a pack as well? Let me just drop that there. Ah, so um, I was able to pull myself through there. That's quite wet and grimy in there but you can pull yourself up with a bit of a heave yeah uh, i wouldn't recommend it though <laughs> in fact i don't think i'll be doing it again well just chuck it over got it so what we're going to do instead we're going to try and climb through this little hole here which looks just about doable it's an interesting bloody route this it's certainly had an interesting finish to it <laughs> Yeah, I must admit, I got into that gap and I thought, oh crap, I'm trapped. And it, it was just a case of working your way around it. All right? Yeah. It's not too bad, is it? I think it's better than the way I came up. It just feels like if I didn't come this way, I wouldn't be finishing what we'd started. Yeah. How was, how was that? Yeah, when I was out with not my pack on though. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think we would have. Yeah, we had to lose the packs there. I So I went. I went into that crack and tried to leave myself up and what happened was when the pack became jammed on the rock I had to kind of wiggle out the pack, pass it back to Alex and then just lower it down then I had to kind of twist and lift myself up so I, that, I definitely put that around probably a grade 2 scramble that little M finish there fantastic, don't get me wrong but um, yeah yeah, don't get me wrong, fantastic that but um, I wouldn't recommend it to your average walker um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, as long as the trick with scrambling is never do anything that you think you can't retreat from. So if you see something and you think, mm, I'm not really sure, better to retreat or better no, better never to go up it in the first place. But that was a nice sort of finish there. And we've got some good views over there. Yeah, fantastic. So I think we're going to head to the summit of Kinder Scout now, unless there's any further scramble along the street. I don't think there will be, but let's go and have a look. Yeah, I'm absolutely covered in crud um, and I've, you can see there I've kind of, I don't know whether you can pick that up, but I've kind of scraped away all the skin there, so oh there it is there, so I've scraped away all the skin there, so that's going to sting later on, serves me right What about that there, that tower? Should we just stick to the, the main path? I don't think there is a path You know what, that, that, that's, that was a good finish, that was a good finish, I think it's like it's always good to have a really it's always good to have a surprise at the end of a scramble um, and I think to be honest I think haven't done this once it's a little bit short it's a little bit on the short side but the scenery is good coming in provided it's not too foggy and um, I think I'll be doing this again to be honest I'll bring a few friends up here so we've had a spot of lunch and we're heading towards Kinder Downfall um, as you can see the fog's really come in and it's just a barren featureless horrible terrain so we are on a pathway of sorts, it's, it keeps piecing and out this, uh, so we're trying to follow it as closely as we can because it is on the map. The pathway peters out every few minutes and what happens is you have to keep stopping and checking where you are. Um, so I wouldn't like to get lost up here to be honest, especially at night because, I mean, imagine calling Mount Rescue and you say, well what can you see? You can just see grass and fog. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, as you can see it's completely featureless. Um, so we'll uh, we'll crack on. We'll see how we go. See if we can get to this Kinder Downfall waterfall from here. So we've arrived at Kinder Downfall. So I think this is supposed to be a waterfall, but um, but I think I think we've caught it on a bad day to be honest, because we don't appear to actually have any water here. So it's completely dried up. Um, so we'll go and go and check over the edge and see if I can find any actual evidence of water. Oh, there's some water there. Yeah, is that is that it? <laughs> That's a bit disappointing, I've walked all the way up here for that. 
Oh, hang on, there's a bigger one. There's a bigger one. So, I think... Oh, I think this might be it. We'll just watch yourself. It's quite slippery. Well, that's the most disappointing thing I've seen all year. We're going to go further down and see if there's more water. Hopefully there is. I think we might have just caught this at a bad time. Can you see any more evidence of water? Yeah, sounds like something. Well, there's that. Oh, look, there's an apple. There, see? Someone's dropped an apple. An orange, not an apple. Oh, it's an orange as well. Is that it? Is that it? May I present Kinder Down for? I can pee more than that, really. No, there, there must be a bigger, there must be a bigger waterfall, or it's dried up. But I can't believe I've walked out here for like three hours to see that. Um, I'm, I'm being a bit unfair. I'm sure. I'm sure in wetter weather it will be a lot better, but we'll see if we can find anything else. Yeah, we're going to head along this edge here. Looks like there's some spectacular views down into this valley here. So we'll head down that way and we'll see where we go. Hopefully we can get a good backward shot of the waterfall, but I think it's pretty much dried up to be honest. So yeah, see where we go in a minute.